Good morning guys, it is the 2nd of May, it is my birthday, I am 30 today, shit I feel old, no I'm you asking, do I feel any different, no not really, just another day at the office, it is 6.45 and I'm just pulled up outside the gym, ready for my first client, so I got a couple of clients first, then I got my own training, then I got another couple of clients, then I got the rest of the day to sort of hang out and chill, train, uh, possibly train again. Yeah, I think me and Viv are gonna go to Swords and do a little five guys. Plan is save all of my calories because that food is hella dense. It is, I don't know if any of you guys, comment below if you've actually had a five guys before because I was looking up the calories on the on their menu last night when she was like, oh, let's do a five guys. The calories for the bun says 240. Like one of the, one of the burgers, like one of the patties is 310 calories. If I can remember correctly. Like, so if you get like a double burger, there's 620 calories plus the burger bun, 860. That's without any condiments, without any bacon, without any cheese. A regular fries, this is no bullshit. A regular Five Guys fries, this is the little fries, right? I think it's 540 calories. The large fries is 1135 calories. For fries, man! Oh my god. So you could be sitting burying two and a half thousand calories in a Five Guys and you wouldn't even know it. So, heads up for you guys who like Five Guys. Be aware, there's hella calories in that shit. I have a push-pull session today and my plan is actually to go to, there's a gym in Dublin, a new gym open called Gym X and the equipment is off the charts. Like it has all sort of like hammer strength style machines and the leg machines that they have are insane so i really want to go up there and try that push pull with jason this morning and then potentially legs later with vivian double training session today might get an extra little bit of cardio and bang some calories and then destroy five guys and maybe a donut i don't know i might go wild it is my birthday now anyway enough waffling time to get into the gym in the gym at the moment and we're doing a bit of a this chest and back session so this is our second super set we started off with this, um, it's like a hammer strength style decline chest press. And uh, what else to do? Oh yeah, wide grip pull downs and standing rope pull downs. What I'll do is I'll put the workout in the description box below so you guys can give it a try if you want. And now we're moving on and we've got our second superset, which is uh, incline Smith machine press and a single arm row here on the uh, plate loaded row machine. Now, I prefer doing this one standard because I can sort of feel it that little bit more. Right, so Jason's finished because he's in work for 11 and I'm just doing a couple more sets, getting in, legging it in for a quick shower and then I got my own client starting at 11 o'clock. So my plan is to fast as far as I can in the day because I want to save all of my calories for five guys later. But uh, yeah, chest and back done. Like I said, I'm going to put the workout in the description box below so you guys can give it a try and then later on the plan is myself and Vivian are going to head up to Gym X I think and smash a little leg session there. Just back from the gym and was just having a chat with Viv there. So the plan is to, she's going to do a little bit of college work so I am going to make a little bit of post-workout grub so my plan is to have a shake and I might have, no I won't, I'll leave it. I'm gonna have a shake, I'm gonna mix this. I don't know if you guys have seen these yet. So these are the protein coffees. You pick them up in Lidl actually, and they are only, I think they're about a euro 20 per can, but there's 25 grams of protein in them, and this is cappuccino flavored. This is, I think it's about 168 calories per can. I'll put it into my fitness panel and I'll show you actually properly. But I'm gonna put this into a smoothie with some ice, and then an extra couple of scoops of whey protein and then I'm just cooking some turkey burgers in the George um, for later in case I get a little bit peckish um, so I don't want to be munching shit um, so I'm saving the majority of my calories for when we go to Dublin and um, we're going to get an epic meal also I've been waiting on two deliveries to come actually three deliveries, well not three, one from the States and one from my protein um, and they were supposed to come yesterday and didn't and I'm ripping because 
I was sitting like a little child at the door, you know, when six o'clock was rolling around. I was like, oh, please come. But yeah, my deliveries didn't come yesterday, so they're coming today, which I'm delighted about. Loads of new supplements, some new protein, some new aminos. Um, I'll show you guys anyway when I get it and uh, take you through what I got and why I got it. But um, yeah, time to eat. There's the macros for the protein coffee. 25 grams of protein, 10 carbs, and 0 0.5 grams of fat. It's 250 mils. So yeah, added in another 40 grams of whey. So I took it up to just over 50 grams of protein for my first little hit. Two deliveries came. I'm still waiting on my iHerb delivery, but one is my my protein delivery, and then another is a delivery from a company called Era Muscle, which I have no clue. I don't know what's in it, so you guys are gonna see it the same time as me. But what I'll do is I'll show you guys what I got uh, from my protein: creatine monohydrate, basic creatine, super cheap, super effective whey isolate. I got two of the flavor drops so I got chocolate peanut butter I actually think I got regular peanut butter yeah just normal peanut butter and I got a box of these new bars I don't know if any of you guys have seen them yet I haven't seen them or tried them yet I don't know what the macros are on them Let's take one out and have a little look 257 calories per bar 13 grams of fat 26 grams of carbs and where's the protein? Whoa, 33 grams of protein. Holy shit. That's pretty epic. 33 grams of protein and that's 250 calories. Yes, mate. Hella fucking hard. Nobody's getting into shit. Max Muscle Adam Bomb. Pre workout. I haven't tried this before, but what I will do is I'll try it over the next couple of days and I'll tell you guys what it's like next time I go. I might try this today when I'm training legs. But also, they sent me out, so this is what it is CBD BAMS. So it says face, you can see down the very bottom of it, it says face, lips, and body. Protection and relief. What else is there? There's more of the CBD balm. And there's two tubs of... That's pretty cool. CBD rubs. Company called Cura Vida. Check that out. Very cool indeed. Yeah. This is the company that sent them to me. Thank you very much. Gifted product. No affiliate, no nothing. Thank you very much guys, Aero Muscle, I'll leave their link below and you guys can check them out. Inspected by the Department of Agriculture and Food. This box was actually opened and then resealed by people in Dublin somewhere. I don't know why, it's literally just supplements. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys what I have here. Okay. On I heard last week, everything from Quest was on sale, which was... Obviously a field there for me because I love Quest products. Um, I used to be an, actually, funny enough, I used to be an ambassador for Quest. Um, up until I changed up to my protein. Um, but yeah, Quest products, still love them. These protein crisps, they're 21 grams of protein. They're like 100, I think they're maybe 110 calories per bag. But they are delicious. I got a box of Quest bars. So these are the apple pie ones. Another box of Quest Bars, strawberry cheesecake. Again, only reason I bought these was because they were both on sale. I think I got them for like 16 quid each. Got uh, these Optimum Nutrition Cake Bites. I've tried these in the States before. They're pretty nice. Now, not everybody likes them. I like them. They're kind of weird. Um, yeah, they're not like your conventional bars or like sort of protein-y sort of bars. Um, the texture's a bit funny. But I like it. Anyway, buy one um, and try them. This is the red velvet flavor. I had these in the States before. These were 13 euro. I think it's because, yeah, I think they're going out of date soon. I think they might be going out of date soon. Where's the date on them? Short date, it's June. So, still have loads of time. Another box of Quest chips. 
These are the barbecue flavor. They are the sour cream and onion flavor. Right. New pre-workout, no explode, BSN. Um, I have tried, I've tried the BSN, um, was it BSN? Yeah, BSN Endo Rush, and it was very good. So this was on sale also, so I'm thinking BSN products, hopefully they'll be good, hopefully this will be good. Um, I got my essential amino acids, got fish oils, so these are super strength or high strength uh, omega-3 or um, there's a high EPA and DHA in them, 180 and 120 I think, if you can see there. I got this actually, HGH Surge. Now, the reason I got this was because I was looking for 5-HDP, which is actually very, very good for cognitive function and it's also good as an appetite suppressant. So when you're actually dieting really, really hard, it's very very good to um it's very very good for helping your appetite well not suppress your appetite but it's very very good for uh how can i explain it let's say keeping your appetite at bay it doesn't suppress it completely but it sort of makes you not really focus on it um again always one of my favorite supplements to take whilst i am on a cut is yohimbine brilliant 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 supplement do your own research into this product the knowledge that I have behind this product is that it increases blood flow to body areas of stubborn body fat essentially and um, so that's why I use it I also use it along with this which is Cineburn all right now but the actual name for this is called Cinephrine or bitter orange peel now you can get this in any over-the-counter and um, let's say fat burner I take these both with a coffee in the morning or a double shot of coffee in the morning before cardio or before training and I find that it really helps. Zinc magnesium, always a staple with my supplements. Um, this one, again, an extremely good product for heart health. Fantastic supplement for heart health. Cruciferous veg, this, all, this product actually has DIM in it. Now, I don't know if you guys know DIM, the product DIM, but it is, um, it's a supplement that helps with estrogen balance in the body. Vitamin D and vitamin K, fantastic supplement. This is brilliant. Obviously, we don't get enough sunlight here in Ireland, so vitamin D is an absolute staple for me. Choline, this is actually one that I got. This is a phenomenal supplement. This is actually a member of the B vitamin. Choline is a member of the B vitamin family, and it is a brilliant supplement. It helps, it has all sorts of cognitive health functions, so brain health. All right, so this is a brilliant, brilliant uh, supplement. Super enzymes, so super enzymes that obviously help with digestion and breakdown and absorption of food. A brilliant supplement. This one is phenomenal for liver and kidney health. Ashwagandha, brilliant supplement. I take this before bed. Turmeric, anti-inflammatory, and then multivitamin. Job done. That's everything. Myself and Dave just got to a place called Gym X. Um, we are, well I'm waiting for Gym to come out of the dressing room. Gym looks phenomenal. It has like incredible sort of um, hammer strength style machinery. And some of the stuff I've actually never seen before and it looks epic as hell. So the plan is to get a lower body session done and then go for a big beast animal post workout meal. So, uh, yeah, I'll show you guys around the gym in a little bit, uh, but this place looks the shit. Can't wait to get stuck into a leg session here. Okay, so we're warming up, lower body, we're about 200 calories in. Vivian is getting stuck into the, uh, it's basically just a glute kickback machine. That's the best way I can describe it. As you can see, they've getting the, uh, Bones working super hard, and then we're actually supersetting it with adductor and abductors. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go down to this side of the gym and use all of these lower body. So this is all. This is a V squat, plate loaded leg press, vertical leg press, 45 degree leg press, hamstring curls, plate loaded hamstring curls, 45 degree. This place is the fucking business, man. The kit that they have here is phenomenal absolutely phenomenal all plate loaded kit top end if you guys 
haven't been to this gym yet, or haven't seen it, or heard about it, check it the fuck out. Now, come on, go for 12. 12 to 15. Head back, head back. Keep your spine in the neutral line. See it, come on, another five. Four. Three. Well done, bring the handles in. Starting here on the ski erg, we're going to do prowler and then we're going to do some bodyweight walking lunges up and down this little track. Legs are already dead, but well, time to finish them off. I'm not dead on this. You, you do. Don't fucking look. Big bird. Here, don't be sagging because I'm so stylish. <laughs> you actually are, you're probably the most stylish person I know. Oh, that was nice. Yeah. How was your leg session? What do you think? Good. I wish we had some of that equipment to be unreal, wouldn't it? That'd Just so kick good. back and all. So how you There's a kickback in Velda, but it's not as good. It's not as good. We have the Nautilus glute drive though. The new glute drive, the new glute drive. Oh thing. yeah, that's good, yeah. It's pretty good. That gym is class. 100% recommend that. We actually drove up from Dundalk to, to go to that gym. So many people post about it. And uh, yeah. It's class, yeah. We had to try it. I genuinely wish there was kit like that in the gym that we train in because... The lads oh. and they seem pretty sound. And they're all bang on, yeah. So guys, if you do, I'll actually link the gym below. I link their Instagram page and uh, you guys could definitely check it out. And if you're in the area, it's in, I think it's called Harmonstown Road. Um, it's near enough Kulak anyway. But if you guys are in the area, 100% come check this guy's out. What do you think? Unreal. We are on the way to Five Guys. And on the way to Five Guys, free donuts. Free donuts from the Rolling Donut. Donuts. Yes, mate. That's how they're not the best. <laughs> they're not the best donuts, but listen, it's all free. Yes, mate. Yes. So I know it is so very, dangerous. It is. So it's dangerous. Only, it's only 40 minutes up the road, but I'd 100% make the drive to here. I can't to. <laughs> you actually can, yeah. That five guys was dusted faster than I could even get a bleeding video of it, so I didn't get a video of it. But what I did get was a double bacon burger, and we shared a fries. All right, big dog. How are you? As I was saying. Got a really double bit. <laughs> I got really interrupted. Nah, I didn't get really interrupted. Um, but double bacon burger, uh, and we shared a fry. We shared a fries, a regular fries, and now we're being extra bold, and we've come to Gino's. You know, I've got what have we got? Frere Rocher, uh, Snickers, and what else do I have? Snickers and I think Nutella maybe. I don't know, they're all chocolate flavours. Also, I can never mix like fruit flavours like strawberry and a chocolate ice cream. I'm either all chocolate or all like fruit flavours. Comment below and let me know if you can do that. If you mix your flavours, I'm all chocolate or I'm all fruit. I can't mix. I don't mix. discriminate. You don't discriminate? Okay, okay. Maybe I should be less discriminatory about my ice cream. Yeah. Oh man, that was a long ass day. It is now quarter to 11 at night and I called into my mum's on the way home from Dublin just to obviously to see her on my birthday because I didn't see her all day I was gone pretty much all day and she was in work so I uh, called in and as mums go she knows me better than anybody else and got me some of my favourite shit so look check this out got me a big box of Reese's bars Haribo jellies, which are my fave. Sour cherries are my fave. And she got me a box of salted caramel for fill bars as well. So, absolutely buzzing. Buzzing! But yeah, today was a good day. Double training, got some five guys, got some ice cream, had some jellies, I had one of those peanut butter bars. 
Okay, don't judge me, man. It's my day. But yeah, had an amazing day. But listen, look, gotta sign out of this vlog. Um, thank you guys for watching. Give it a bit of a thumbs up if you like it. Leave me a little comment if you guys, uh, you know, listen, look, you know the drill by now. If you have any sort of feedback or comments, you know what to do. Hit me up and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.